up guys, Mardi Gras Man 23 here and today we're going to do another review. This is set 70809 Lord Business's Evil Lair. 738 pieces. I think the original retail on this was uh, $69.99 maybe. And I'll tell you, I like this set. I like it, but I don't know what you would do with it. I mean, it has a lot, a lot of really cool minifigs. Um, they're all from the movie. You get eight minifigs plus a business kitty or a unikitty in her business dress. So you get that. It's pretty cool. But what would you really do with this set? I don't know. Let's take a look at it. All right, guys. So the first three figs you get, you get Emmett naturally. You get Vitruvius and you get business kitty. We'll call that a minifig. I mean, it's really a build a fig. But so you get the Emmett, which is I don't know if it's I think he just has different facial expressions from in other sets. There's the Unikitty in her business attire with her uh, Sharpie drawn on, glasses and dollar signs and her at sign. And there's Vitruvius with his eyes closed. And we take a look at the back and you know you get the piece of resistance which is actually the cap for the craggle. And you get I think he's got some back printing. No, he doesn't. No back printing under there, but he does have this nice shiny cape. I mean, these figs are right out the movie, and they're all pretty cool. I'm, that's one of the things that makes this set is all the figs. So here's the first three, so let's take a look at the next three. All right, so the next three figs you get are you get El Macho Wrestler, which he is really cool. He reminds me of the little muscle figs from in the... Back in the 80s when I grew up, there was a whole bunch of little plastic wrestlers. They were... I don't know. They were probably almost the size of a minifig maybe a little bit shorter but they were basically they weren't posable they were just I don't know there were hundreds or thousands of different ones with different different body um, different bodies different poses and I think they even had a rink and they're, you know the, they're just kind of imaginative wrestlers but anyway that's what he reminds me he reminds me of a muscle fig and then you get my pop and pa cop and they come with this neat little base, which is supposed to be supposed to show that they're stuck in the craggle. If we take a closer look at them, you'll see El Macho Wrestler. He is really cool. Got his mask. And there's Pa Cop and Ma Cop. And that's their scared face because they've been stuck. And we'll take a look at the back. There's no back printing. Um, well, he's got some back printing, his wrestling gear, but. They do have back facial expressions. There's Pa Cop, and here's Ma Cop. And that's their happy go lucky, or as happy as they want to be. So, this, they're pretty cool figs. I mean, she's got the little bun top, hard to get on. And you know, you got to have the hair that's got to completely cover your, your back facial expression if you're going to have one. So, I mean, I like them. I like these three figs. So, the other fig you get is you get Lord Business and there he is and I've got him all built up as Lord Business instead of President Business now he does come with an extra pair of legs and he does come with his other hair so you could take you could just make him President Business as opposed to Lord Business and this this whole piece right here on his head is one piece you just add the cups to it and you add the um, the one by one light plate there then he's got his shoulder pads here with his tie. That's another part. And then you build these fancy legs for him. And he's got this nice cape. And you build these legs all the way up till there. That is supposed it's all one piece. It actually comes like that. We'll take these off and I'll show you. Uh, you know when you want to break something, you can't. But it comes in the box just like that. Now these pieces do separate. I don't know if they're meant to separate. But you can pull them apart. I don't know if you're supposed to. But they come apart. So I took them apart to show you. So like I said, you do build these legs. They're built way up. And that's all for this guy. And that is President Business, a.k.a. Lord Business. So let's take a look at the set. Hey guys, so here is the complete set. 
this is a lot going on. I mean, like I said, there's 738 pieces and it's set up to be different parts of the office or the whatever you want to call it, the, the tower, Lord Business Tower or whatever it was called. So on this end right here, you've got the Where's My Pants TV studio. You can see you got a nice little couch right there that you build. That is an actually, that actually, actually is a pretty cool build. I'll be keeping that and probably putting it in a mock. And then you get this nice little TV camera. Another little easy simple build. Pretty cool. And, th and then you get the stage lights right there. So that's all there is to that. And then we turn right over here. And you have the uh, boardroom. And on the back there, that is a stickered piece. The sales sales chart is a figured piece. Now, this is the uh, conference table, and it's not attached. It's built up pretty neat. I mean, you got four chairs that swivel. They all swivel. It's just built on uh, some Technic beams with a bunch of pins. Pretty cool idea. Pretty simple build, actually. And then if we look above that, we have the holding chamber. And it's got a one by two plate right there, so you can stick some figs to it. And then over on this side, we have got the craggle machine. So you get your tube of craggle up there, which is actually, uh, you know, it's actually crazy glue, but it's that the old metal tube that's been bent up so bad. And then on, you got a play feature right here where he could be a fig could be running zoomed in too much fig could be running let's put Emmett up here and he's running I don't know if this is supposed to be the window that he jumps out of in the movie and he's not gonna stand up for me but anyway you stand a fig right there and when you pull this you can see it 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 drops this drops the floor so he falls right out the back so then we look down below and here's the other side of the craggle machine and what you do is you push it and the door opens and then you push it out some more and it's not going to work for me unless I break it. Uh, there, alright, it's supposed to come out some more technical difficulties here. Maybe that, there it is. And there's the tip of the craggle machine right there. And this thing is actually pretty cool because it's built with these little arms right here. And the arms are attached to the door, so when you close it, uh, first of all, push the nozzle in, you pull it closed, and you see the door opens and closes with the lever in the back. And then, of course, you get the old 9-volt battery. And it has a 1x2 with a jumper right there, so you could, you could actually take Emmett and you could take the piece of resistance off his back and then you could stick the battery to his back so he can run with the battery you know, ah. so he could be running and then the string could catch Boof. so I mean that's that's a pretty cool piece that battery that is a sticker it's got stickers right there it does look like a 9 volt battery and the craggle is actually really cool. Let me take that out for you guys. You can see it's got these supposed to be robotic arms holding it in. It just snaps right on there and you can pull it right out of the machine. And it actually, this is going to be a horrible, isn't it? It actually fits. Look at that. So you can put the top on it or the piece of resistance, which is actually is the top. And you can close your craggle up. And that is actually another really cool piece. Now this has two stickers. It has one on this slope piece and one on that slope piece. So that's about it, guys. I mean, it does have some play features. Like I said, it's got the it's got the fall away floor. It's got the craggle machine right here. It's got the boardroom. Got the the place to imprison your figs. The little studio. I mean, there's not much to the TV studio, but I guess your imagination could run wild. Alright guys, so my final thoughts on this set. 
Set 70809, Lord Business is Evil Lair. I gotta tell you, I really like this set. Um, but I think I like it because it comes with all of the minifigs. I mean, $70. I think the original price, correct me if I'm wrong, was $69.99. It may have been $59.99. I originally wanted it just for the figs. Didn't really care for the, the little play set that you build. Um... I mean, as an A-Fall, I don't really know what I would do with it. This is one of those sets that I'm definitely going to keep the figs, of course. And I'll, you know, I'll probably use a few different parts. And I'm going to keep the craggle. I'll probably keep the 9-volt battery. And I'm going to use the where's my, the where are my pants sign on a mock. I'm going to use the couch somewhere in a mock. But other than that, I'm probably going to tear all the rest of this down and just throw it in the boneyard. And that's hard to stomach if you're paying $70 for a set. Fortunately for me, I got this one really cheap. Check out my hauls and you'll see how, how cheap I got it for. But, I mean, it's hard to stomach $70 just for a bunch of parts to throw in the boneyard. Unless you're a big collector of the figs. And then you got to have this set. So I kind of got mixed feelings on this set. I mean, they're great figs, so that's a big plus. Um, I guess on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give it about a 5 or a 6. I'd put it right in the middle. I'd probably put it a 6, just above average because of the figs. So tell me what you think, guys. you have this set? you agree with me? Is this a lot to pay for a, a play set, we'll call this one? Do you like the figs? Is it worth it for the figs? I mean, I actually think the set is worth it for the figs, but if you're an adult buying it for your kid... I mean, I don't even know if they're going to realize the figs that they have. I mean, that Vitruvius fig is really good, but is it? it's not like they're going to display it. They're going to be wanting to play with it. I don't know, guys. That's enough, that's enough rambling from me. Tell me what you think. Leave me some comments. Give me a thumbs up and like the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Instagram at MardiGrawMan23. You can check out my Bricklink store at Mardi Gras Bricks. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. <laughs>